At 154, the fight to make is Jared Hurd versus Charlo. What are your thoughts about that? Well, Jared Hurd, he's a, a rugged fighter. He's come forward. He's in great shape. But he's like a moving his head. He think he can walk a person down, you know. A person with the same amount of strength and endurance. And who got mobility like the Charlo to beat him. But uh, I never saw Charlo in no big trouble. I never saw him um, get in trouble and get out. I ain't saw no uh, diversity in him. So, you know, I always saw him pretty much. Uh, I always saw him pretty much, pretty much winning his fights. So I ain't never had to see him dig deep. So, you know, uh, that'll be a very interesting fight to see. Uh, I'm rooting for Charlo, uh, but not saying that he can win that fight. That'll be a very interesting fight because uh, Jared Hurd, he's always in shape. He's always coming forward. Uh, again, Charlo, they're not, they can be better fives, you know, in the pocket wise. What kind of issues do you think Hurd gives Charlo? Uh, staying close to him. You know, if he stay close to Charlo, Charlo might get his spot. Uh, this about three, four you know, days in a row. If he stay close to him, and like Charlo, they, they, don't, they don't throw fours and fives pretty much uh, often. They like to, you know, throw a jab and catch him coming in. Or, uh, catch you coming in with a check hook or something like that. The punch you don't see, that's how it's knocking you out. But I never saw him, you know, not saying that. I never saw him go to the body and just knock you out. So, you know, it's, it's an interesting fight to see. Who would you give the uh, power advantage to in that matchup? Uh, I will give it to Charlo. Yes, I will give it to Charlo. I will give it endurance wise and strength wise. Uh, I will give it to her.